everybody. Welcome to the Three Way Podcast Show. This is Linkster101, JP. That is JD. Uh, Gamer tag <laughs> is JD McKinney78. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back. Los is in here. Uh, he had to work for the day, but hopefully he'll be back next week. And of course, the man behind the magic is JRX4 Elias. That was the most weirdest the, wave. The, the camera like, <laughs> like it was like out of focus. It looked terrible. That was that looked that looked like a terrible wave. Thank God. Thank Hopefully you. no one caught that. <laughs> uh, so yeah, welcome back, guys. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell uh, below. Um, give us some feedback. But let's go ahead and just jump into it right off the bat. Uh, so we're going to start with pop. 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 So uh, <laughs> right now, The Witcher season two has started filming. Now this. It's funny. This is a phenomenon. The Witcher, not only did it do well um, for Netflix, but the video games even had a boost. Oh, yeah. Just on how much people went back to play the video games or people with first time playing the video games because of what they saw on the show. Uh, So this is an exciting time for Netflix, especially with The Witcher 2. And I think because of the success of Witcher 1... They're going to uh, season one. They're going to want season two to come out as soon as possible. Yeah, actually, yeah. Like at first, it was said like they wouldn't come out until like next year, but now they pushed it up until the end of this year. So that's that's pretty cool. That it's already going to come out pretty soon. And what and what do you think, JD? Have you played the the, the I, original? I've I've seen the games. I haven't actually played the games. Um, I see the original series, the, the the Netflix series. Yeah. And what I'm really hoping is they don't they don't try to rush it because if they rush it, they're going to screw it up with the season two, and it's going to kill the whole series altogether. Ooh, that's, uh, real. Th- that's a good that's a good point. I think as long as they set a timeline correctly, exactly. where we're not guessing what's the past, the future, and the present, <laughs> I think they'll be fine. No, I think, I don't they, know, already I think said they kind they of made the first series. You know, where you where you weren't sure if you were in the past or the present or the future. You know, you had uh, to kind of. You, Until yeah, the point. end, where you know, where you, I'm sorry, spoiler alert, you haven't seen it yet. Um, <laughs> but, you know, where you, where you don't know what's going on until the very last episode where you, everything comes together finally and you see, oh, hey, we were looking in the past at this particular character. Yeah, you yeah. Know, this character, we weren't, you know, somewhere was different, in a different timeline, so. I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, I think the casting, they, they have a hit just with the casting itself. Henry Cavill. 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 Yeah. Cavill whatever, Cavill. damn it. Cavill. Cavill. Whatever. Yeah. Henry Cavill. Yeah. Superman. Yeah, the, the, point Superman. Is, <laughs> the point is, he was a, a great, great, uh, uh, Geralt of, Geralt of Riviera, of Riviera <laughs> uh, the White Wolf, and also who they got as the uh, the witch uh, Morgan. Uh, Jennifer witch? Morgan. Jennifer what Morgan. I'm name? thinking of Arthur. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jennifer is actually a good one, and she's we'll, coming back too. I think she's coming back yeah. too, and she's gorgeous, man. Oh yeah, she's gorgeous. So I, I definitely liked how they, they made her look, you know, really bad looking in the beginning, and then she they they, tried. They it, like, you couldn't. You could know? see her eyes, and you yeah. can see kind of like her figure, but. You know, a shout out to them. I hope Witcher Season 2 comes out at least probably by December. Because last December, that's when it came out. So if yeah. it took another year, that'd be I think that'd be a good timeline. And they wouldn't have rushed it. Yeah. So that's the, the news right now for, for The Witcher and good news for Netflix. Also, something that came down the pipeline is the Borderlands movie uh, is going to come Borderlands out. Borderlands. And the it's movie. based on the video games somewhat, I would say. And it will be directed by Eli Roth. Now, I... We, we just talked about Sonic the Hedgehog being a video game movie. A lot of people... The best. Don't the really... Highest. Yeah, it's the best. Grossest. It's the highest, grossest video game of all time, Sonic the Hedgehog. But a lot of people don't like video game movies. They just don't. It's because they they're not do done them right. well. Yeah, they don't do them right at all. Like they, I mean, look at Assassin's Creed, how they screwed that up. Oh, that's oh horrible. my God. They had God. so much other material horrible. to work Yo, with. Yo, I went to go watch that you in know? theaters. I was yeah. so I excited asleep. for it. It was, it was funny. Was so I, I went to see the Prince of Persia movie, which is actually which was really good. I saw it in theaters. Oh, You're talking Jay about Jay which one? Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. All of us like Tony McGuire. I saw it in theaters, and my folks were like, that looks like the Assassin's Creed game you're playing. I'm like, that was more of an Assassin's Creed movie than the Assassin's Creed movie, you know? Yeah. It really was. It looked, it just, it was just terrible the way they did it. So and you think these are, these, the, uh, the Eli Roth is going to be directing, uh, he's known for his gore. For, um, he did Hostel. Yeah. Which and is very uh, gory. He did his other one. I can't remember what it's called, but it was like super gory. And, uh, he did Green Room, right? Green Room too, I think. I think something so. like that with Patrick Stewart, the guy from Star Trek. But anyways, yeah, that guy, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't like the Borderlands series, so pff, I'm I just mean, like... Borderlands, <clears throat> Borderlands is, you know, like we were saying earlier, it is a little bit a little bit gory, but it's more campy. You know, it's more of a, of a slapstick kind of a Yeah, it's of like a video comedy. Game. Yeah, like, and so, I mean, and you really... Like, yeah. You, you know, if he's going to try and pull that into the movie, he's got to pull that particular aspect of it as well. He can't try to make it into a horror Just a movie. whole a horror yeah. movie. Or, or, see, that's the thing. That, that's my one thing with directors when they take video game movies. They always want to go in their vision instead of going with 
the vision of the fans. Like, we already have played Borderlands. We know how gory it is. We know the, the comedic nature of it. So hopefully yeah. that's incorporated. And he learns from Sonic. As I said before, has the biggest opening for a video game movie. Uh, JD, I know yeah. you said you haven't had a chance, to, a chance watch to watch it. it. Yeah, but, but, uh, we watched it, uh, Elias uh, and, and I did. And the reality yeah. is, it's actually a very good family-friendly movie. It's not great. No, um, it's not. It's not The Incredibles, the very first Incredibles. But yeah. I would say it's, it's, it's a little bit lower than that um, in regards to... Just how they made Sonic, and just by listening to the fans, exactly. Just by listening to the fans, they made their movie a lot, lot better. And fans that were bullying them, because that's what they did. They actually did bully. Yeah, them. hashtag bullying works. Hashtag bullying well, works. I mean, to be honest, <laughs> that, that original Sonic just did not look very no, good at all. He didn't. I mean, he really did not. And I think it was smart that they listened to the fans and say, "Hey, this is not how he should look." And they went back and redid him all together. And I think that really is gonna. That's what really boosted the movie, I think, in the first part. So, so ho- hopefully Borderlands listens, from, listens to that. Yeah. And any video game movie up and coming, um, you know, they're still coming out with that Halo for HBO. They're oh, still, the TV series, yeah. They're still working on it. You know, there's Cowboy Bebop, who's in the works as well as an on anime Netflix, movie. Yeah. So there's a lot of shows and movies that are coming out, and hopefully they learn from Sonic and learn that the fan base should have some input on I how mean, the uh, movie should uh, go. I mean, yes, let's give praise to Sonic, but at the same time, it's not the only, like... Uh, video game movie they did well. Detective Pikachu did very well as well. Uh, but Detective Peach, Pikachu, I, I I had more issues with that one than I did with Sonic, only because it was I don't know. I thought it was kind of stupid how they really like like put in a lot of stuff just to like sell the toys. And but then in this Sonic movie, it's like, hey, uh, you know, here here's you, Olive Garden. Here's Olive Garden. <laughs> where, like product placement. Traveler. Yeah, all that product. But placement. you know what? I think the reason why they did that is because they thought it was gonna be a flop. No, I I'm honestly you, believe that. I'm telling you, they did it because they had to pay for that redesign of Sonic. It was, I think, it, I think it was estimated to be like five million dollars or something like that to do the whole movie again, basically. Well, See, I can admit, I like it when movies do that too, when they blatantly, you know, say, "Hey, oh, hey, this is product placement," you know. Yeah. Like you know, it's there. We know it's there. They're just saying, "Hey, we had to do this because you guys wanted to see it," you know. Yeah. So. He's like Olive oh, Garden. They treat you like family. Yeah. yeah. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> that, that Have Z- you tried their limited pasta? That, really that, limited. that Zylo one was so like beyond the, was, obvious. Zylo one was so obvious. I, like literally, he was like, "What were you doing?" And then she has a laptop with Zylo on it. She's like, yeah. "Oh, I was looking for apartments." And I'm like, hey, Oh my yeah, God. you guys can go check out our review where we talk about it. It's, oh it's, my God. It's, it's hilarious, so man. It's hilarious. But that does it for Pop at this point in time. Let's go ahead and jump into sports. <laughs> I'm not going to do all that shit that Lowe's does. You got to do it. No. Uh, do it. Home run. run. Astro cheated. Yes, did. Touchdown. <laughs> Don't swing. It's a low pitch. It's a low pitch. <laughs> So, uh, we're going to hop into sports and just start wreck shopping on the Houston Astros. So, they've been... <laughs> they, honestly, there's not much in sports, guys, but the Astros somehow have been in the main coverage uh, all this week on First Take, on Undisputed. LeBron James came out and was like, they should be stripped of their rings. They cheated. Aaron Judge was like, yeah, they should too, because we lost two of them. Aaron Judge plays, yeah, of course, for the, for the Yankees. New York Yankees. Yeah. Um, and in my head, I'm just like laughing my ass off because just the fact that people like if you notice the mainstream media a lot of them are from new york like Stephen a smith and all these people and they, they're just wreck shopping on the well, dude, astros it, dude it's baseball like what else is there to talk about <laughs> i mean I, I get your point but i feel like you know that's like calling the kettle black for lebron james didn't lebron james have like a secret meeting with uh Dwayne wade and chris bosh at denny's oh. and trying to make it seem you know that he wasn't gonna go to Miami, didn't he? Have, and he was like, "Oh, can we all hey, get together?" Hey, there but, were no. But did he get caught? Uh, I mean, he yeah, did get crazy. caught. He did get caught. <laughs> thing, you know? I mean, and not only that, he's the one that changed the whole NBA moving forward after that. So he should be stripped of his rings in because no, it wasn't him. It was uh, the uh, the Celtics when they brought in. Uh, but KG, no, they traded. They tra- it's a big uh, difference. They traded it? Paul Pierce and, and uh, Ray, Allen. Ray Allen. They traded for the big three. These motherfuckers were like, let's be the big three over over fucking breakfast trying to hide from the public in the middle of nowhere, some random ass town in Florida. So to me, nah, he should shut the hell up uh, about that. Now, as far as Aaron Judge, um, I don't watch baseball. If you play baseball and you're that big, like, like you're just wasting your time. I mean, they pay really well. He should be a fullback. Maybe a running back. Then we'll see if he talks. Uh, JD, do you watch baseball? Are you a baseball? I watch guy? a little bit. You know, I actually I, I used to watch a lot when I was a kid, but after the strike, a few uh, you know about was it almost two decades ago. Yeah. Um, I just kind of lost interest in it. So I mean, I've been getting back into it a little bit, but that's just not. I mean, after 
when it cost them the World Series, I was just like, you guys are a big old bunch of babies. I'm done with you guys, you know, and, and quit watching it for a while. So, but I did, I did, I hear a little bit about this, and I'm like, okay, so they figured out your signs. Big whoopty freaking do. You know? I agree. That's your fault. You guys didn't hide it well enough. I mean, all, that's that's just good spot, good scouting, in my opinion. You but know? the thing is, is that the what the Astros were doing were taking that extra step. When they were they were playing at home, they were not only like stealing the signs like the way everybody else was doing it, but they also had like uh, technology. What they're saying hmm. added in, on top of that because they were at home, so they can like place the cameras wherever they want it without the other team knowing. And that's where. That's where like most of the controversy is coming from because they were taking advantage of them playing at home and doing extra things to cheat, basically. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't understand but, the big whoop de doo because the Patriots cheated and they got caught with video <laughs> evidence for three straight years. All right, three straight years. Not only that, they got caught deflating balls. Tom Brady was suspended. Not only that, they got caught cheating <laughs> like so many times, like five times the one recently where they got caught cheating videos against sending scouts. Yeah, too. and then they, so, caught, they caught Robert Kraft and they, 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 and they, ca- they caught Robert Kraft cheating. <laughs> so at the end of the day, are they going to strip them of their rings? Nope. No. So if they're not going to do that in the NFL, they shouldn't do that in the MLB. Now, if you want to put an asterisk mark, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. I completely agree with it. I mean, Los is like – it, it, at arms, he's telling me they're gonna win this, the the. I don't know. I just don't, win it all I, this I, year. So we'll I don't see. like the the when they whatever they did that uh that interview uh well the apology interview they did with Jim Crane, um they were basically deflecting the uh the the problems or the or the the blame from the players like they're kids. I'm like no, they're not kids. They're grown ass people who fucking knew what they were doing. Like no. Like, they need to take responsibility, too. I think that the first thing that they did to apologize, that was the most stupidest shit you could do. As a player, I wouldn't have apologized with the shit. Mm-hmm. Um, because there's other people. Because it came out that the Boston Red Sox were doing it, too. The New York Yankees were doing it, too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. to me, I would have been like, man, shut the fuck up and leave me the fuck alone. I won. Um, yeah, if anything, they should just shut up and just, like... And play! Just, just play. Yeah. Because eventually, more- they'll, they'll get tired of, like, having them, like, talk about it. I think it's more that everybody else is upset that they didn't think about it first. Mm, Possibly. You know, probably yeah, what it really is. You know? and so, of course, well, you guys did it because we, did, we didn't get a chance to do it, so we're going to hit you up for it. And it's just like, so and, what? And they so, use technology. Exactly. And not only that, someone should beat up that snitch, the little reserve <laughs> uh, pitcher. <laughs> they need to jump his ass and beat the shit out of him because I don't see him turning his ring in. And he only did right. it. He only started snitching on it when the ri- Astros got rid of him. So, I mean, it's it's a big uproar right now. It's a touchy subject for, for all the New York fans or whatever. Oh. I give two shit. And the L.A. Dodgers. Didn't the L.A. Dodgers oh, sue the gosh. Astros, too? Yeah, um, I don't know. Oh, my. It's just a big mess. It's just so yeah. stupid. But it's entertaining for me because I'm not a baseball fan anymore. So, I haven't been a baseball <laughs> fan since they went to the World Series in 2005 yeah. and they just gave everybody away the next year. Yeah. Uh, so, I could care two, two fucks about that. <laughs> but it's just funny to make Lowe's. Miserable. It's yeah, one of my that's favorite a fun things part. in the world. So, yeah, that pretty much does it for sports. We're probably going to do a review later on in regards to basketball. The playoffs is right around the corner. Um, so, we have a couple of teams that we're looking at and who we think. And thank God the Rockets are in the mix. Hopefully, they'll save this damn city <laughs> uh, from the Bill O'Briens and the Houston Astros. So, oh, actually, let's go ahead thing. and. <laughs> one more thing. I think, and I don't know if it's been, it's been a rumor. I haven't heard anything about it. Have you guys heard anything about the uh, NHL bringing a team here yet? Oh, uh, what? they were know, working on it. I know the Rockets owner wanted to do it, and he wanted to do it over at the uh, at the Toyota Center. But I don't think I think it's a Southern thing. We're, I don't think Southern people are really into <laughs> hockey, bro. I have no like no like, interest in no like. I, I had a friend from LA who would follow the LA Kings. Uh, shout out to Chris. Um, he's always like right there watching hockey. And when he was living here, we'd always go to the bar, and he'd always be watching hockey, and I'd get bored. Yeah, I'll get bored. And um, be, is that something like that you're excited about? If they were to no, bring I'm a just, team I mean, here, I know, I know they were talking about bringing a, a major, another major sports team here to this to the city. I had no, I, I really hadn't seen too much else about it uh, since I last heard about it. Right. You know, I wasn't sure maybe one of our, you know, maybe you guys heard the same thing, or maybe one of our viewers might have heard something about it. I wouldn't mind to go see it live just to see how it yeah, is. It's, I've, it's, seen, it's, I've seen movies with like things happen in hockey rings. It's like they say, goes. you know, you go to a fight and a hockey ring, hockey game breaks out. You know, but it's just one of those things. You know, they're always guaranteed to be a fight at a hockey game. So yeah. You get two sports for one. <laughs> True story. Mm-hmm. So, uh, moving forward, let's go ahead and jump into gaming. Uh, uh, pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. pew. Whatever. <laughs> Game <laughs> over. Uh, so, Sony, PlayStation, I guess five. 
Just Sony. Sony canceled the, the PAX East and GDC appearances. Uh, this is just another Corona. step. Corona. They're just trying to do their own thing. It's already obvious to this point. Oh, you know what? I, I saw I saw a hot ass take. I was like, damn, that may that may be the reason why. Not only they're skipping out on these uh, conventions, but why they haven't been at E three, why they haven't done uh, they the, haven't done the, shit the Sony Experience thing, whatever, because of the cost of the PS five. Wow, they're, they're that to, would be a good take. Yeah, I heard they were saying that because it's so expensive, and they're still waiting for Microsoft to release like their cost for their system. They're like, do we take the loss and charge like four fifty to four hundred dollars for this system? Or oh, say, I see or what say, you're fuck saying. Fuck it and just charge the five hundred dollars because right now I think it's costing them four fifty just to make one one uh, PlayStation. So in order to cut costs and save some money, if they do end up taking the loss, they're like, well, let's not go to E three. Let's not do the conventions. Let's just do the state of plays and keep it keep keep the the spending minimal because it's either that or we start cutting some people off. I see. That is an interesting yeah, take. That's very interesting. I I think just PS PS or Sony, I should say. Sony is more inclined to just be by themselves. When it came to crossplay, uh, they didn't want to be involved in any way, shape, or form with anything. Xbox was more forward with mm-hmm. thinking with that. Um, they were willing to do that. PlayStation is more resolved because Sony's all about money. <laughs> I mean, they all are though. They all are, but at least Xbox is willing to crossplay and do that effort. It's because they have to. <laughs> they're losing. <laughs> well, they've also got. They're also not a single system uh, environment either. They've got the computers, you know, and they've got exactly the Xbox. So they can do stuff like that and still be okay with it, you know. Mm-hmm. And that, and that's I think my point with Sony. Not only that, they were going to release like the, some Last of Us uh, two gameplay during the. Uh, uh, yeah, PAX East. Back, PAX they were, yeah. they were going to sh- uh, finally let the public play uh, the Last of Us two. Uh, of course, they pulled out of that because uh, scares of the uh, coronavirus. Um, same thing, GC, they're not going to be there because of the coronavirus. Uh, they're not the only ones. There's some other companies too that are not like, uh, doing their full thing. I think Square Enix is one of them. Um, this, uh, the coronavirus, uh, I, I, I think it is a big issue. I'm not going to like, like make it seem like it's not, but at the same time, it's really like, I was, I was reading up on it. I was looking into it. I was just like, dude, wash your hands, clean your house and like, don't sneeze on people and you'll be fine. <laughs> it's the like, bird flu all over again. It really yeah, is. Yeah, like know? there really isn't oh, like like you like a point. major major thing for it if you just stay clean. <laughs> but there's a lot of people who are dirty. That's yeah, how it is. There's a lot of dirty. But, people. but I mean, you know, for Sony to to be doing this, we'll see. Uh, maybe that's an interesting take. Honestly, I can see that. Like mm-hmm. now that you mention it, I can see that occurring. But see, that's that's just stooping low. Just wanting to see how much Xbox is gonna come out. Who cares if your system That's is good? That's their main pe- competitor. But people are always going to buy their system because Xbox Xbox's um, uh, development to 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 make each Xbox Series X, I think, is like around three eighty to four hundred. So they can they can do four fifty and make some money. Look, I, I'll say this: I was going to buy the PS Five anyway, along with the new Xbox. Yeah, I'm gonna buy them all. And so regardless. I was already like, I'm gonna spend at least fifteen to sixteen hundred. In these two in, in, in November, just for these two consoles, I'm already prepping myself. So, if I'm doing it, and I know other adults we're talking about from like 19 and up because the younger generation, you know, they're, they're you gotta ask their, the parents, yeah. ask parents. Yeah. so that might be different. But as far as the older generation, they're going to go ahead and have the funds. And gaming is in now, everyone does gaming, yeah. whether it be for Call of Duty, whether it be for Fortnite. Whether it be for Apex, like so much gaming is involved now, and especially with the the mm-hmm. the, the new fighting games that they're going to show in the um, uh, Evo. Yeah, uh, yes, correct. Like that's going to bring more people because everyone, especially with Marvel's Capcom two and stuff like that, people are going to just keep coming. And I don't think Sony has to worry about it. I mean, if they want to do it that way to keep costs, I hope that is the case. But it's still stupid just to wait on Xbox. I don't know. What do yeah. you? What's your take on it? Uh, I'm with you. I mean, if it's if it's they need to stop worrying about shit and just kind of get it done. You know, if they're going to sit there, if they're going to, I mean, if that's the reason, they need to say that's the reason. Don't, don't use the coronavirus as an excuse. That's what I was just thinking. say, Hey, you know, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to, we're, we're, we're working on this right now. We want to make sure it's the best we can. We want to make sure it's good to go before we start putting out anything about it. We're going to hold off until we have a chance to make sure that we're ready for you. And then once we do our, once we do, we'll come out and we'll tell you. Okay. I mean, you does know? it matter to you what the price for PS5 is going to be no. or Xbox at all? No. Because like, like you said, I mean, people are going to buy it first day out. You know it's going to happen. It always does. People are their lines for it. It's just like when the Apple or new Samsung comes out. There's Correct. lines yeah. out the store for it. You know, it's going to happen. People are going to put it on pre-order. 
it's gonna it's gonna cut you're, you're gonna have people buying it regardless so you might as well just kind of plan on that you know and start putting out pre-orders Say, hey we're gonna start selling pre-orders right now and that'll i agree give you, that'll give you an idea of how much you're gonna need to get ready for how much how much income you're gonna have when it when it, when the release time comes out you what know? is your prediction of how much it's gonna cost it's gonna be a it's, both systems. Both yeah, systems. Uh, both systems. Yeah, I think I think uh, we're definitely gonna be looking at a good five, at least a five hundred price range for both of them, at least, uh, just because they're brand new. Yeah, you know, taxes you know, always, and all that might be more. I, and that's like before taxes, you know. Yeah. But I mean, it's just that's the way it always is. It always, anytime something you know, cost and demand, or supply and demand, people are gonna be demanding it, so they're gonna bring up they're gonna bring up the cost on it, and it's gonna be at least five hundred, probably for just a basic system. You know, if you want anything extra yeah. like that, uh, you know, of course with Xbox, you know, they're gonna bring out a connect with it. They always do. <laughs> it's an extra hundred bucks, you know. They don't do that. If but, they do that, oh lord! No, I think it's always I, that case. I think they know. will be both five hundred dollars at the start. I think Xbox has another skew for a, a lower model of the series, of uh, S, I guess, whatever they're gonna call it. So that's gonna be cheaper. But you uh, know, that probably won't come out for at least a couple months. Yeah, that won't yeah. come out right you know, away. At least, yeah. so. And even then, people are still gonna buy the, oh, yeah. the day ones. You want to have that day one for of Xbox course. and PS Five. So I, I just feel like. You know, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Yeah. And speaking of selling uh, the consoles, uh, so GameStop is having issues right now. Uh, their bosses are very desperate. Sales are really going down. Uh, I've seen a lot of GameStops close uh, here in Houston. Uh, the main ones are in certain locations where it's a it's it's a hubbub of people walking by, like the Galleria. There's one in Sugarland, but there's very small. And I don't know what they're going to do. There's not much they can do now. I think unless they Man, even if they lower down, the, they're going to have to take a hit in order uh, to survive, I think. Well, from Polygon, uh, this uh, article says, uh, In more than a dozen interviews with Polygon, current and former GameStop employees uh, spoke of a tightening regime, regime of strict sales targets and intrusive customer scripts designed to extract as much value as possible from the company's uh, dwindling base. Dude, the, <laughs> this company, oh man. Yeah. Well, whoever is, whoever manages game stuff is so fucking stupid. Yeah. Well, well the thing, the thing that's so really hurting them right now is the fact that you can get your games via digital now. You don't have to go to GameStop, and you can buy anything. And, you know, if you want a controller, you can buy it online from Amazon or anywhere else. You know, anywhere you can. And it's of, cheaper. You know? Yeah, and it's cheaper. You know, and you don't. If you don't. I mean, how many? How often do we really go in and, and turn in our, our game discs to buy another game? I mean, exactly. You know, I, I'll see. I have. I go into. I've gone into GameStop maybe twice to buy a controller because I didn't want to wait for for Amazon to, to ship it to me. And I was just, you know, before really before we got our, our distribution center out here, I used to go into GameStop all the time. Now I hardly step foot in there, and it's yeah. just because I don't need to. You know, I don't have, I don't need to get my games from there anymore. And I think Amazon is a lot of that that factor because honestly, when I, for example, when I bought a, a Octopath, um, I literally went to GameStop used, mind you, used forty five dollars. Mm-hmm. At Walmart, it was thirty nine ninety nine, mm-hmm. brand new. That to me is an issue because yeah. if it had been thirty nine ninety nine, I would have paid the thirty nine ninety nine. And then when I looked on Amazon, Amazon had it used twenty five dollars. So to me, it's the fact that your price is you're just trying to extract money from something that you shouldn't have to do that. Um, if you want to give credits to people who turn things in, because I'm the type I like a disc. I like the disc. I don't like digital because if my internet is not working and I want to play, yeah, that's fuck. True. Yeah. But I, I like to have this, so I, I don't have to worry about the internet connection. The only game that I have to worry about that, it was Destiny, but I have Resident Evil 2. Yeah. I don't need internet for none of that shit. Right. So for me, that's the reason why. Um, well, the other factor, though, is we got this, these digital services now that you can, where you just pay a, a fee and you can play any game on this. On the, and that's on the, another one. For, yeah. like, for like a, what, for about four months worth of, of get digital game service, I'm sorry, for one game, you get four months of digital game service. And thousands of games. You know, you're not limited to just, just one game now. Yeah, can, GeForce has yeah. The, uh, their their streaming service. Xbox has the Xbox game has pass. Theirs. I think uh, PlayStation pulled one out too. PlayStation, yeah, PlayStation now. PlayStation, PlayStation yeah. now. So, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, you don't have to go, you don't need to go into the GameStops anymore to pay 60 bucks for a game when you can get a but streaming service But I think there's got to be a way, maybe do some tournaments, uh, get, get, get people back. Um, maybe instead of focusing so much on use games try to have brand new products i think that'll help change the customer service their customer service the majority that i've been to is horrible yeah they need to go to wherever chick-fil-a customer service people train at they need to take their people there too and if they have to close down and leave two or three open 
so they can get that market back up, I think they should do that. I mean, that's what they've been doing. They've been like closing down some of these stores. They've been making some like uh, unique versions of their stores, like different themes. They've been trying to like do different things to like boost sales. But the thing is, is like I was too like that person is like, oh man, I gotta get myself physical because what if I want to sell it or whatever? Yeah. Uh, but nowadays, like, dude, I I've been I don't I don't remember the last time I got something like physical like. Uh, fuck. I don't know. Uh, I mean, the the physical disc that came with my PS4. That's it. Uh, everything else I've been playing. Uh, playing. I've been buying digital because it's just. But see, instant. that's the thing. It's it's the the digital is not going to take over simply because of the fact. I that think it is. Th- no, the I reason why it has. That's why, why GameStop is dying. Is because they're still kids. Kids, your parents are always gonna buy you the disc. They're always gonna buy you that stuff. You're not going to get it digital. You have to create your own account. They're not going to leave your Visa card attached to your profile. Well, that's the thing. You don't have to so, do that anymore. You can get gift cards for those things. I mean, but it makes it you easier know, for them, points. too, because they're like, yeah, you don't, I don't even have to take you to the store. I can just buy it right exactly. here. Yeah, that's another you thing. You know, don't too. have to worry about discs being all it, over the house, you know? It, yeah. they, it's, it's a, I think for GameStop, what hurt them is they got cocky, and they thought that they they were going to go ahead and just be the one owning everything. They didn't have a niche market. I mean, they yeah, were the ones that out there, you know? I think they're going to, honestly, and I feel sad, but. I think they're going to lose them. I think GameStop is going to end up being what... Uh, Blockbuster. Uh, no, not just Blockbuster, but I think they're going to uh, end up selling to like a bigger company, like a Walmart or a Best Buy, and then you'll see a GameStop in their stores. Yeah. That's that's something that I would see. I honestly could see Best Buy doing that. Yeah. I because, honestly could see Best because Buy Because GameStop doing that. is still like a, a recognizable name. I mean, they, they still have some worth there. So imagine if like they go to like a, a bigger company or whatever. And, well, I mean, if Best Buy buys them out, their employees will get paid better. Maybe they'll have their customer service up to par with Best Buy. Mm-hmm. Well, see, I'll be honest with you. When I go to the customer service, has always been fine. You know, I never had a problem with them. The manager is a real great, real great gal. She treats her people real well. You know, and from what I remember, always hearing about the, uh, the, the 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 yearly retreats that the managers would get to go to. You know, where they get certain, you know, get a bunch of gifts and stuff like that. So hearing this is kind of surprising me that this, that they've gone downhill from that. You know. Yeah, the the ones that it just depends on like the one right where I because I live on business in Beltway. <laughs> I live in the hood. Yeah, you want to give your address too? Uh, I'm just saying, <laughs> feel free to go there by yourself if you want. Yeah, you're gonna come out of there alive. Uh, but um, there's this GameStop there that's just horrible customer service. And then, like, if you go to, like, the one in Sugarland, the one in Galleria, it's very good customer service. Mm-hmm. It's just those little small ones. I, mean, I think they need to be closed. But hopefully GameStop, because you don't want people to lose their jobs. Hopefully GameStop, yeah. you know, gets your shit together. Uh, so moving from GameStop, we got, of course, Animal Crossing <laughs> Direct. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, this shit, I don't give two living fucks I, about. I'll be honest, I've never played Animal Crossing, don't, so I couldn't tell you. Don't. All you need is just... Yeah. I was expecting Lowe's to come but then and he said he wasn't so I put it on there I try watching the fucking direct hell no dude I fucking fell asleep I'm like, <laughs> telling you bro that game is the most stupidest <laughs> game so you can be a fucking raccoon and create your own be the mayor of your own little town uh, I fucking hate I mean, this it's, it's good for a kids game I, get, I, I know, agree it's a good kids but Lowe's is a grown ass man <laughs> <laughs> he's 31 supposedly I mean, what the hell? Who plays that? You no, know, I'm 42 I, and I haven't grown up yet, so you know. <laughs> but, okay, but see, like, like for example, I think that game is great for kids. Okay, <laughs> like all that shit, right? But to honestly play the game, to try to attempt to play the game, is so fucking boring. You have to have like a long attention span. Well, yeah, because we're we're more of a first person shooter, you know, that kind of that kind yeah, of. Yeah, I'm more into like fantasy, like so. Final Fantasy, yeah, you know, uh, you know like Destiny. Halo. We're, we're more of the action, so this that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's definitely not going to work for us. But yeah, there's other people out there who who you know, again they have that attention span. They, that's something. I, they I can mean, do, there's this know? game about a, a high school girl. Uh, that she like she's goes she goes to like a par a paranoid world, but she goes to school. Have you seen that game? What? They did two. It's, uh, oh, there's one where she's taking pictures. Yes. Yeah, and no, I said, yeah, she like some, for some reason she's controlling the weather somehow. Or, yeah. Oh, yeah, time uh, you're yeah. talking about uh, Life is Strange. Yeah, yeah. There you go. that's the most stupidest fucking game of all. <laughs> fuck, it's just along with Animal. It's just fucking oh stupid, and people God. play it, and they played it so much. They didn't just make one; they made two. Yeah. So I don't know. A lot of people like those games. So yeah, some people just want that kind of release from that kind of reality. I right? have I have no idea what the hell's going on with that. But um, how did you like the Animal Crossing direct? All right, look, I, I, I again, I tried watching it. I was watching like they had it like bro- uh, broken down. It was like thirty minutes or something like that, and they broke it down to like three sections, and they were talking about it in the beginning. And I was like, I was like, all right, this is interesting. Uh, first section was like maybe fifteen minutes. I was like. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Wow. I was like, fuck, man. Like, they're just talking about basically, like, uh, all the things you can do, what they added from, like, the previous uh, Animal Crossings and new creatures that can come. Uh, towards the end, though, they, they did answer, like, questions from fans that they were, like, wanting to know, like, is there going to be crossplay? I mean, not crossplay, but multiplayer and all this and that. How, how do the islands work? Uh, apparently, dude, I don't know how Nintendo is still, like, not getting so much shit. But they have it to where, like, on one system, you can get up to eight islands, meaning for each eight individual profiles on that one system. So I'm like, wait, I can't, I can't just put as much like islands on my own game in my own system, whatever. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> the other thing too is that they don't have cloud saves. So if your console fucks up, your 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 yeah, island it's is it's up. gone. Yeah. Supposedly that's coming later. But it's 2020, bro. Everybody's been doing it since like. But see, the Nintendo's always been behind, cycle. behind the ball. That's what I'm everything. saying, dude. Like, Which is funny because they were at the forefront of a lot of the stuff we're doing now. Yes, know? but I think right now they they're just waiting and seeing. They're gonna have to update the Switch at some point. Yeah. That once these consoles come out, it's too late. I like, think they're working on a new console. I mean, they? they have to because mm. the Switch is good. I have the Switch. I like the Switch. I can't wait for the new Legend of Zelda that comes out in November. Uh, but you know, Animal Crossing is gonna give them a big sell. I'll tell you that much. But uh, they also mentioned too that um, they're like, oh, if you want to talk to your friends, pull out the app with your phone, and you're able to communicate. I'm like, get the fuck out of here! How do you Discord? Do that? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> now there's a Nintendo app. That's how you use to like not only like send messages to each other, but also like voice chat with the phone. I thought you could voice chat through the Switch. Oh, I don't know. Apparently, in some games, you can't. So. Oh wow, that's crazy. 2020, ladies and But, J.D., what do you think? Okay. You're, you're going to go ahead and, and buy that, uh, that game? Uh, no. It's not free. <laughs> I'm good. I got enough stuff on my phone to keep me happy when I'm not doing an Xbox, so I'm okay. All right, perfect. Well, um, that pretty much does it for the show. Do you oh, have- oh, oh, oh. I go forgot ahead. to mention. Uh, I got uh, the Project X Cloud thing on my phone. Is, so it, does it, is it worth it? I've been playing. The, they only have one game right now, Master Chief Collection. Uh, I think it kind of is. I think it kind of is. Suck it, Stadia. <laughs> Damn. Oh, RIP to Stadia. Shout out to you guys. You guys just fell through the cracks and no one mentions you guys anymore. It's, it's sad. I love yeah. your commercials, though. The commercials were nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways. RIP. Anyway, any final takes, JD? Uh, anything you want to cover? Anything that you've been playing recently you want everybody to know? Most of my oh, yeah. Call Sorry. Of Lo- Lowe's has a uh, final punch and what have you Yeah, he playing? has all this. I just, uh, do, a fi- just do a final yeah. take. You, <laughs> if you want to talk about what you're playing, anything that's on your mind, go ahead. Uh, Knock so, it out. You know, nothing, nothing serious that I can think of. Like I said, I'm just playing a few uh, extra games that have been out for a little while, so nothing new on my on my end. So. Uh, okay. okay. Well, for me, I'm playing Destiny 2. Motherfuckers, I need two clan members. Just two. <laughs> Two one. people, holler me, holler at me at least you're one on one. I'm trying to make my clan on Xbox. Uh, on Xbox, uh, we're trying to go ahead and start doing all these heavy raids and everything. There's a new DLC that's coming out, uh, which I'm pretty pumped for. Uh, mm. I'm back in Destiny. The Legend is back, and Jesus. we'll see what we can do uh, if, to get me back into shape. Because right now, uh, Destiny two wise, I'm a little bit rusty. Rusty as hell. <laughs> uh, well, I've been playing. I've still been playing a lot of Apex. Uh, I broke my mouse, so that's why I got a new one. <laughs> Yeah, you got so mad you broke it? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? See, I learned when I get that mad, I have to put the game away for a bit and go do something and then else. And they come yeah. back, yeah. Man, come on, back, on yeah, Thursday, was it Thursday or Wednesday? I think it was Wednesday. I was fucking raging so bad, too. I think it was Wednesday. I was like, I was like, oh, my God. If this shit wasn't so expensive, I'll break another mouse. <laughs> God, <laughs> I was damn. so heated. But, yeah, I've been playing Apex. Apex is fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, they, just, uh, they also just uh, re-released the first map. So if you guys are interested in Apex and want to play, the first map is back. Uh, they still have the second one. Uh, it's a really fun game. It's just sometimes, oh, my God. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> you be raging. I can't even think what the name of the game is now, but I had that too where I had one game where I just wanted to throw my controller every single time I played it. I finally actually called Xbox and say, give me my money back on this one. I ain't playing this game no more. Oh, no, shit. I, 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 threw, I threw my Xbox controllers yeah. all over the place. So. Yeah, I have <laughs> several broken ones downstairs. <laughs> but uh, that'll be it for you guys. Uh, by the way, do you, do you have any Twitch, anything that you do? Stream? Uh, anything everything, you I, everything I got is, is JD McKinney 78 You can find me on Twitch. Uh, 
Yahoo. And, uh, Yahoo. <laughs> yeah. I just, I just, Yahoo Messenger. <laughs> Yeah, you know, chats. Um, chats. Sorry, not, you know, right? Uh, no, YouTube. I mean, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok. I mean, that's pretty much my my handle for everything I use. All okay, right, cool, I mean, cool. Well, uh, just follow uh, JRX4 and his Twitch handle. Uh, that's a long JRX4X one. JRX4X is not that long. JRX4X. It's too. It's a tongue twister. And I don't have Twitch, guys. But uh, holla at me, listen 101. I need two clan members, bitches. Myspace. All right, guys, keep in mind we're here uh, at, on Anchor, Spotify, iTunes, all that jazz. Please like and subscribe. Support your boy. Comment down below. Let us know what you think on what we discuss. Peace out. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you, Judy, for Bye. coming. Bye. Thank you, Judy. Bye. Bye. Bye.